Joined now by Fox NBA analyst Slick Rick DeBuca Bonacho. You have a problem with Dr. J snubbing LeBron? I absolutely do, but I have a problem with the why. If he just wanted to snub LeBron because Dr. J is an old head, I respect it. Like, old heads do what old heads do. They just, you see who we got on the list. He had Jerry West, Will, Bill Russell, Elgin Baylor, Oscar Robinson. The youngest person on his first team is 82 years of age. Um, so, like, if he wanted to just snub him because he's an old head, I'd be like, you know what? I tip my hat to you, OG. Yeah. You OG. I can't argue with you. But his logic, Sal, his logic, Slick. You point one finger, you got to remember, you got one, two, three of them things pointing right back at you. And speaking mm. of three, remember, Dr. J's Sixers were 0-3 in the finals. Mm. And that's why he had to ring, ring, call up NBA MVP Moses Malone before the 82-83 yeah. season. And then... Only then was Dr. J able to win his title. Remember, he couldn't get past the Lakers, which you could also argue was somewhat of a super team because of Kareem and Magic, but I ain't going to go there. But Dr. J couldn't get past a super team of his own. So what did he say? He said, man, if you can't beat him, join him. Mm. Now, different age of player empowerment. They didn't have nearly as much power then, but it's the same parallel to LeBron James. LeBron couldn't get past the Celtics. He loses in 08 to the Celtics in the semis. Loses in 2010 to the Celtics in the semis. So what's LeBron do? I mean, if you can't beat him, join him. Because the Celtics had Kevin Garnett, 10-time All-Star. Ray Allen, 7-time All-Star. Paul Pierce, 5-time All-Star at the time of their joining forces. If I calculate that right, that sounds like a combined 22 All-Star games between their big three. When LeBron formed his big three, Wade, Bosh, Bron, Bron, that's only a combined... 17 All-Star games between LeBron, six, D-Wade, six, and Bosh is five. So if you're really doing the math, not only did LeBron not start the whole super team thing, even in his own era, the Celtics did, and that's why LeBron had to bust the move because he couldn't beat a super team or a big three, so he had to go four and one of himself. But Dr. J, come on, man. You was pointing that finger. You got three pointing back at you. You lost three times in the finals, so you had to get help from an MVP just to get you a ring. Ooh. Let's not forget our own history. Let's not forget our own flaws. Ooh. Acho. Acho. What Acho. happened, Slick? If Dr. J had put himself on one of those teams, then you might have a case and make you took all these different things that sound really good uh -huh, and they, they look did. really That's good and they do. make sense oh and God. you put them all together well, but you didn't make cookies you didn't make cookies <laughs> you didn't make a cake Boy, you just eat. put a lot of stuff together in the mixing this. bowl and then said uh, eat it i'm not going to eat it no i have absolutely yes. no problem with what dr j put out there no because problem. to your point i mean look he doesn't have anybody beyond the 90s, anybody who was in their prime beyond the 90s on his teams. And he very well could have put himself on there ahead of Elgin Baylor, but he chose not to. This is the way all-time teams should be built. They should be built by eras because the reality is the terms under which LeBron James has accomplished all that he's accomplished can't compare. You know, you said that player empowerment thing and you kind of snuck it in there and then you ran away from it. <laughs> no, that's a huge difference maker here. They didn't have it. Whatever super teams were built back then, they were built in conjunction with the teams building them. And there was a ton more restriction when it came to it. Guys weren't giving up 10, 20, 30 million dollars in order to go play with somebody else because they were making 10, 20, 30 million dollars every year. So I think this is absolutely, I have no, absolutely no problem with how Dr. J did it. And I really don't have a problem with his reason for why, because it makes sense in terms of the difference in the eras. I have a problem with what Dr. J said. I loved your take, though, Slick. You, you really pushed back on Nacho, but you're going to have to push back on both of us. And I weigh more Nacho, so this is going to be <laughs> tough. Um, here's the thing. Dr. J, like Nacho said, man, this is just old man speak. This is what we do. I'm mm -hmm. an old man on this show, and I love what I love. His error was he loves his era. And that's the problem. You got to evolve, big dog, and Dr. J. 
Ooh, you're about to lose your license right now because you went out there and said something that just doesn't add up. Let's start in your era. Since you want to say it's not just about player empowerment, let's start in your era. Was Bill Russell on this list? Yes, he was. Did Bill Russell play with nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Hall of Famers one year? Yes, he did. By hook or crook, whether it's player empowerment or general manager doing his job, who gives the damn? It adds up to this is who you're playing with, a stacked debt. So by that reasoning, Acho gave you many more examples. I don't need to go into that. But just by that simple reasoning, you got a little issue in terms of your top 10. And that's my biggest issue. How dare you put LeBron James in a situation where right now he's not top 10 on your list, Dr. J, but he's in the GOAT conversation. Even if you hate LeBron James's game, I mean, you just like, it's despicable. Who cares? He's top three all time. You're not in the GOAT conversation unless you are. But he may be the best ever, but he's certainly not number 11 all the way through infinity. We can't <laughs> go to that place. So I love all these guys for different reasons, but somebody got to go. I don't care what his age is, what the birth certificate says. There's no way that you can look at a basketball conversation or someone having a basketball conversation. Seriously, if they look at you and say LeBron James is not in their top 10, make it make sense, Slick Rick. I will make it make sense. Number one, you immediately are saying that LeBron is in the GOAT conversation. Who's GOAT conversation? Is oh. it Dr. J's GOAT conversation? Oh my, we got a lot is of goats. Is it the old heads conversation? I, no, I'm telling you, if you got a room together of the guys that Dr. J mentioned and you got them together, you think they're sitting there going, yeah, you know what? I, we don't want LeBron on our teams, but he is one of the GOATs. They don't put him in that category. To your point about uh, the player empowerment, this is the distinction, is that LeBron utilized his influence and yeah. his power to build a team in Miami. Then he utilized his influence to build a team in Cleveland, using up all the resources in Miami and then jumping ship. Going to Cleveland, utilizing all the resources and then jumping ship. He's now in, in L.A., and I'm telling you, as soon as LeBron retires, they are out of resources. So it allows him to expend a great deal of resources in three different places that these guys didn't have. You can you go make a phone call and add one guy. It doesn't wreck the franchise going forward. And I'm not mad at LeBron for doing it. I mean, look, it's a different era. It's a different... He, he's taken advantage of the circumstances to make what he's made. But if you ask me to compare what he's accomplished and say he's just tripled what these other guys have done, well, he's done it by moving to three different organizations and using up what they had. And I have to, if I'm an old head, I'm going to factor that in. And by the way, mm. old heads, if old heads aren't going to stand up for old heads, who the hell is? I stand up for old heads when they're in the right. But you know what? I follow the truth. And if you in a way, that's on you, big dog, because you got to speak the truth. Look, you made the argument that them old heads in the Hall of Fame committee made against T.O., which is if you don't like it or mm. you don't like him, mm. you're going to start hating on his achievements. Hey, bro, that's not how I'm built. I don't give a damn what LeBron does in terms of draining the resources of the Lakers. I don't give a damn because they done cut a many of players on the midnight hour with a one-way <laughs> ticket. So we ain't going to get into this whole how you treat people with conversation. We're going to get into what you did on that court. And if you did enough It's to not be... personal. It's business. Well, well, guess what? The old heads... I'm not, saying, I'm not mad at him are, for it, but, the it's, old... but the reality is he utilized those resources. But the old heads are making it personal because we don't like how you did it. But you liked it when a general manager who you had no connection with did it for your teams in your era. We already talked about Moses Malone. We already talked about nine Hall of Famers on one damn team, and you don't have a problem with that. But when LeBron makes a call to one of his friends, you got all the issues in the world. It's about achievement, not likability. That's my problem with these old And days. here's the other thing, though, you said, Slick. If you selling me that the old heads wouldn't pick LeBron James first, then you almost prove in sales point, which is they bias. Which is why if Dr. J wants to say, you know what, LeBron shouldn't be on the first team list because he's too young, I'd be like, you know what? Hey, you got a cutoff of 82 years of age? Go ahead, because that's what it looks like. <laughs> it's cut off of his list, 82 years of age. Right. But slick, 
You can't tell me LeBron James isn't a better basketball player than Jerry West. Uh. Like, slick. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop with all this nonsense. Why you pick out Jerry, though? I'm Because I'm just looking about positions. The one on there. I'm just looking about positions. Why I'm just, you do that? I, yeah, I, why I did pick you out pick Jerry them. West? I, yeah. I would have picked out all of them, in all honesty. <laughs> like, LeBron James is better than all of them. Yeah. Slick, you can't sit here with a straight what? face and say that LeBron James Yo. is not a better basketball player Max. than these players on this Come list. Come on, man. He ain't 11. <laughs> uh, if, it comes down, if it comes down to skills, if it comes down to fundamentals, comes down to basketball. I, Jerry West is not the first place I'm going in comparing no, LeBron James. I was going to say that either. I was going the, positions. Is he number 11 slick? Is, he, is LeBron James 11 because, to infinity? What do you, no, no, it's, we're not even in his era. I'm, I'm saying oh. leave this. Look, this is obviously a 60s, 70s, 80s, no, it's 90s not obvious. era all-time He should have said We're that. We're not moving into the future. He should have said that. And mm -hmm. I don't – if Dr. J had said that, that's fine. But I can look at the – I can look at these teams and come to my deduction that <laughs> that's what it is, and I'm not going to have a problem with it. And by the way, it's Dr. J's list. You can't tell Dr. That's J. Said, that's said, yes, you can. You do. You can't yes, pick you who can. you like. Yes, what, you can. What? It's yeah. his – no, no. He gets to pick his 10 players. It, it, you it, might not like – why he left LeBron out, that does seem like, hey, I don't like what's happened to the modern game, and I'm going to blame LeBron for it. But take that aside. I assure you that put that aside in terms of being the, uh, the leader of, of power teams, of super teams being put together, Dr. J still wouldn't have LeBron and his first 10 players because he's respecting the eras of the guys okay. that played before okay. him and played with him.